right, City Hall yesterday, City Council yesterday, a couple things came up. I'm going to throw them both out there. I'm going to go around the horn. Hit the one that is you're feeling the most, the topic you're feeling the most. Choose I, your own adventure. Yes, yeah. choose your own adventure. <laughs> Item one, photo radar tickets. City Council unanimously approved a new method. This wasn't a surprise. We'd, we'd heard about this. But they approved a new method for drivers to fight photo radar and red light camera tickets. These cases have always ended up in the physical courts. Now they'll be moved to the same administrative system used for parking ticket disputes and fines online. So this is expected to begin in November. Also, we've been talking about the ban on tobogganing on this show for a bit. Council voted yesterday to reverse its tobogganing ban on 45 Hills just in time for 13 degree weather. <laughs> the ban was put in place last month and was mocked by many people. <laughs> <laughs> I put whoa, that whoa, in. Whoa, Look at that. Oh, see, no. that's dangerous. Yeah. Maybe they were right. Yeah. Go, go, oh, no. go, 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 get it. Go, go, get it. Go, get it. No. go on. It's a better way to bargain. Watch out <laughs> below. So, City Council said, and Brad Bradford, right, was yes. here in studio <laughs> talking to you, Tam. Like, uh, it, was, it was very much top of mind. Um, so, anyway, so we had news on the tobogganing ban, news on how to fight uh, red light tickets and speeding tickets. Mayor, your thoughts generally on both? Uh, well, of course, like, speaking tickets, I don't know them, <laughs> but, um, <laughs> that's I've someone heard differently. <laughs> who has potentially gotten uh, a couple. I, I have done the fighting route, and usually it, ex it comes to pass in some sort of victory mm -hmm. <laughs> for me, uh, slash the driver, really when it comes to points or even some of the reduction of fare. Uh, I don't suspect there will be uh, the same kind of options here because they got it on camera. So this might uh, really provide some efficiencies, though, because technically... Because they know. Uh, yeah, <laughs> technically they know. And technically when those things did happen to me, I did do them. It just is a matter of showing up and sort of explaining yourself. I don't totally understand how that system worked, but that was a system that was a system at one point. This seems like it will eliminate that system and probably uh, tie some things up in terms of getting it done faster. How do you how do you fight one of those tickets? You with can't. No I mean, you can't. You can't. Yeah. Yeah. Like it's difficult. Yeah. yeah. I honestly thought these stories, because I was away for a bit, I thought these stories were combined, and I was like, photo <laughs> radar for toboggan? How are you getting ticketed for that? That was that also pitched. Terrible. Yes. Also terrible. Pitched. What is this city coming to? Um, but the tobogganing thing, I mean, let the kids have fun, man. Stop that. Uh, we've talked about that, like, in years past, too. Is just, stop it. Wait, what are we doing here? I know safety, but come on. They're going to do it anyways. Um, the photo radar, yeah, all it is is now you... Now you can't win. <laughs> yes, sir. Yeah. Now you have no choice. But it's more convenient to lose. <laughs> right. Now it's way more convenient just to go online and lose quickly. Yeah. yeah. It's yeah. The, the fighting of the, the reduction mm -hmm. and all that stuff is like now you have no option. You're just gonna have to pay it. But it's hopefully done. that just means people slow down, including me. Like right. I think that's yeah. that's the bottom line. I mean, it's very serious stuff. Safety. You gotta, yeah. You got to slow down, and if it takes the it takes out the option of fighting it mm. in a in a really kind of meaningful way, then that incentive goes down even more. And it's good because you free up the backlog in the courts, right? Because right now, you know, if you got a speeding ticket, which I, I'm with you, Mary, I've had a couple, I immediately fought it. I was speeding, but I fought it because at least there was the chance that the, the fine would be reduced. And that chance, it happened like 90% of the time Same. that that actually did yes. happen. Mm -hmm. So now, instead of fighting it through the courts and jamming up the system, let's just call it what it is, you were speeding, and, you know, you can ask and go online for forgiveness, but you're probably going to get something in the mail that says no. So yeah. Too bad. 100%. I, I've had that happen to me with a parking ticket recently that I fought online. And it took me like a couple of months. Yes. But I did get uh, uh, something in the mail saying, yeah, no, you still owe this money. I was like, mm -hmm. oh, all right, well, here we go. Gums the breaks. I mean, I, I'm, I'm all for clearing up courts. Yes. Mm -hmm. I think it's a healthy thing. The tobogganing thing, we got to stop wasting time with garbage like this. Okay? This was a ridiculous story when it broke. It was ridiculous when Brad Bradford had to come in here and actually plea on this show and others to reverse this. This is the kind of stuff that drives me insane. Let's focus on the big picture stuff, like the speeding ticket stuff and clearing up the courts. That's an important topic to a lot of people. That makes a lot of sense to me. This, this is a waste of time. We got bigger issues in this city. I hope we don't see this garbage happen a lot because that's, that's part of the problem. I know there's people at City Hall that are on a lot of high horses with a lot of things. That's dumb. Stop it with the toboggan issues, and let's deal with real stuff in this city. And then I'll be a happy camper. And have fun tobogganing again tomorrow in 13-degree weather in the city of Toronto.